welcome to a day in my life vlog so at the moment the day we're starting off at home and most of today we're going to be doing a few domestic duties because auntie's been away and before i went i ensured to use up all the perishable goods before i left so we're going to start by heading down to the local supermarket and pick up a few provisions and groceries for the house then we're going to come back and give my indoor plants some TLC. See you in a moment. So hi guys, we have arrived at Sainsbury's. So follow me while we go in and grab a few groceries. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm grabbing some pap chow. Very, very good. Goes well with sweetheart cabbage. At the moment, I'm not sure we might do a king corn stir fry or a mushroom vegetable stir fry with it. Okay. We're grabbing some spring onion. Okay. These are the salad spring onion. The really long ones, the scallion for cooking, but this one I usually put in my salads. Going with the orange, I usually use the orange and the yellow because the red I'm not too keen on the um, is it the lectin under the skin? Okay, we're getting some bacon, bacon potatoes. Okay, these goes really nice with certain types of fillings, beans, cheese, all of that kind of thing. All right, so moving swiftly along. So guys, we've got the Jumbo King Prawns Crevette. This looks really, really nice. Okay, it'll go very well with a linguine. And then we've got these ones as well, which is the large black tiger prawns. I think we're gonna go ahead and purchase both, all right? So guys, we're getting the prawn, chili and garlic ravioli. And if you remember, when I um, let Madam taste the uh, dim sum, she did say it tastes like ravioli. So this is the ravioli. Okay, and we're going to, to go with this one. I needed some rice, so we're going with the basmati rice. Okay, and this is just the pure original basmati. Although other female members of the family prefer the jasmine fragrant rice. All right. So guys, we're down to the final item, which is the Aberdeen Angus beef burgers okay that's how we do this one is so flavorsome all right head and head to the checkout for the taxi head back home and continue with the rest of our chores for the day all right see you in a moment so guys we are back home from the sainsbury's run it took longer than anticipated reason being the little ones are on half term for the easter break they should be returning back within the next uh 48 hours, <laughs> parents are doing the countdown as we speak. Uh, talking of which, it took longer than anticipated because we were having a little chit chat with the parents because they were approaching us and saying, great deals in aisle number four, go and check it out. Also, another lady approached us and asked if I've got a Nectar card. So I was like, you know, what's the Nectar card? Because I've got a Tesco club card but the nectar card is the sainsbury's version and it allows you to gather points and uh you get great discounted deals on a whole range of products so yes 
you know, I got blessed, all right? And it was lovely having a little chit chat while shopping along, okay? Anyway, I'd like to thank Kiki and Cochelle for coming with me and give me a helping hand. One was pushing the trolley whilst the other was push, um, pulling along my shopping trolley because, you know, no need to struggle when you are getting the heavy items such as the crates of water, etc., etc., potatoes and all of these things that carry weight. It's harsh on your wrists. So be smart and yeah, invest in one of those uh, pulley trolleys, all right? So yeah, I'm feeling a bit parched. I'm going to have some refreshments and then tackle the plants. So the plants is set up over there and here's how it's looking. And again, shout out to the two millennials. They had to run along, but before they left, they helped me set it up so to make it easier on myself. So I'm going to grab a light snack and then um, have a brev light beverage uh, and then tackle the plants. Okay, we're going to pot them because they've outgrown the current pots that they're in. All right, so bear with me. Okay, so guys, I just want to make a quick refreshment to have with some snacks. So I've put my hair back for hygiene purposes, okay? I haven't had the chance to uh, tie it down with the scarf. So I'm making a quick carrot juice. I forgot to get the ginger. I would have made ital uh, carrot and ginger. Ital being no dairy products, no sweetener, etc. But unfortunately, I'm going to make the milky version of the carrot juice guys like i said before i went away used up all the perishable goods which meant the fruits that was in the fridge that would have um gone off during my absence i used it up and as for the juice that i made before i went i froze it and took it with me and it was extremely refreshing so we've done a quick setup over here and here's how it's looking Okay, so we've got the nutmeg, which I'm going to grate up. I've also gone for mixed spice because it's got brown cinnamon in there. And we have vanilla, and of course we've got the carrots. Now, I've washed the carrots with apple cider vinegar. Alternatively, you can use lime. Okay, lime and water is sufficient to clean the fruit and vegetables and we're juicing with the Nutribullet. If you happen to be a university student and you haven't got access to a Nutribullet, you can grate the carrots and use a cheesecloth to strain out the juice. In fact, you blend it, you use a normal household blender and blend it after you've grated it and you can strain off the juice and you get the same result, all right? So we're gonna get juicing and have it with i think i'm gonna go with the breakfast biscuits reason being the breakfast biscuits the reason why i like the breakfast biscuit it's got its whole grain nuts wheat and it slowly releases energy and calories it's like a superfood okay because i had a hearty breakfast before we left out to go to the sainsbury's all right so it's just going to bridge the gap nicely and give me the energy to tackle the plants all right yes it's been extremely energetic going through the aisles in uh sainsbury's okay so yeah we're gonna crack on and make the juice and enjoy our light snack and beverage vegetables you pulse it on a high setting okay and as you can see already 
We are up to 200 mils, which is 10 ounces. I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna grab my clock. Okay, looking good. We're up to 400 mils, which is 15 ounces. And we're almost through the carrots. And that's all there is to it. Who would have thought a whole pack of carrots just gave us, let me just close off the cap, just gave us short of 600 mils. So that's not too bad. Now guys, if you wanna dilute it with a bit of mineral water to make up the quantity, you're welcome to do so. But seeing as it's just for myself, I'm not gonna dilute it at all other than to add the sweet milk, vanilla, nutmeg, and uh, a bit of mixed spice. So we're gonna go ahead and set this in the sink to be washed out in a moment. As for the fibrous material left behind, with this, seeing as it's just carrots, you can make it into carrot cakes, waste not, Okay, you can actually add raisins, sultanas, add it to uh, some of your breakfast biscuits as well if you're making them homemade, you know. So you don't alternatively have to add this to the compost heap, although you can, all right? But again, recycle, okay? What we're going to do now is remove the lid. You can strain off the froth at the top. Gently remove the foam, it's just air, you don't really need it. Okay. We are now going to go ahead and add the Now, because I've been making this for some time, I just judge. I judge the amount of sweet milk that goes in and of course I taste as I go along. to grate the nutmeg. And guys, don't be shy with the nutmeg. It, it impacts a lot of flavor into the carrot juice. Okay, you don't wanna go over the top with it because then it will make it bitter. And we're just going to put a teaspoon of vanilla. You can use vanilla essence or vanilla extract. And remember, clean as you go along. 
long because I've been grating the nutmeg we have a bit of dust on the counter space Now we're going to bring out my famous shop tasting glass and then make the necessary adjustment. If it's too sweet, of course, you can dilute it with a little bit of mineral water, but we're going to sample it before adding the mixed spice. For some of you who weren't aware, mixed spice com contains ground nutmeg as well, okay? As well as cinnamon. And you just want to make sure one flavor is not overpowering the other. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little bit of the mixed spice. Now this is the right amount of sweetness for myself because I'm going to put ice in the glass and the ice is going to dilute it a little bit. So yeah, it will neutralize the sweetness. So quick and easy carrot juice. Okay guys, so I've taken out the biscuit and it's Belvita breakfast honey and nut with chopped chip. All right, the chopped chip is a bit naughty, but what can I say? So it's like a superfood, slow release. It's got 50 calories, it's got all of the nutritional information at the front down there. And of course, at the back as well. And it comes in packs of four. And because it's in this type of packaging, it makes good pack lunch, you can dip it in yogurt, you can crumble it on a uh, wheat yogurt with a bit of honey. And yeah, it slowly releases the energy as the time goes by. Can't help myself. And ice in the glass. Cheers. As for the remainder, okay, so it filled up 500 ml bottle and a 250 ml glass. So 750 ml I got from the pack of carrots. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy. And then get on with the rest of the household duties. So guys, I really enjoy the carrot juice. So here's the setup with the plants. So basically, the objective is to repot them. And this aloe vera is being transferred into this larger pot. And this money plant is being transferred to this size up and this lovely cute indoor plant which has just started to bloom some lovely yellow flowers is being upgraded to this pot right here. I've got my gardening gloves and I've got my pruners and I've got my spatula. 
the soil. So the soil that we're using is this Miracle Grow. Yeah. And it's peat free, okay? And again, we water it with pour and feed. Pour and feed, I use it to give the plant a bit of nutrition, roughly about once a week. The other alternative is Baby Bio. Baby Bio is very good plant feed. And again, fresh water to spray the plants, okay? Now, when I'm going away, there's a trick that I use with the 500 ml bottles, which is piercing some holes at the bottom and then lean it a certain way and it slowly just drips and gravity helps it along and it just drips the sufficient amount on a daily basis. Okay, so as you can see, fully equipped, ready to go. Only one catch, the day appears to have caught up with me. So I'm going to have to pot the plants tomorrow. In the meantime, between time, they will wait. What I'll do is just give them a little bit of water. I'll just spray the top. We're not gonna water the soil. We need the soil dry so we can repot them tomorrow. So guys, it's been absolutely fun virtually hanging out with you guys today. Thank you all for your patience. I know it's been a bit of a gap with me posting up real life extremely busy but do bear with me okay and i will try and upload at least twice a week all right so lots of love and i will see you all soon bye for now